Guys meet Arthur Fleck. That's right. A. Fleck. The fuck? What's happening, film friends? Dave the Film Junkie here. Alright, we have our first official image of Joaquin Phoenix in the Joker movie. Not quite the Joker yet. He's still uh, Mr. Arthur here because that's that's what they named him. I mean, Arthur Fleck. I mean, Kevin Smith, of course, pointed out, but I saw people pointing out even before that when we found out the name and everything was just like, wait a minute, is, is his, you know, first initial, last name is really A. Fleck? Like, seriously? Bro. He looks like an asshole, and I'm glad that he looks like an asshole. I want him to look like an asshole. And if that wasn't enough, we were giving, oh, set images, as well as a full-on set video of him doing a scene. So you see some mannerisms. You can't hear the voice, which I'm anxious to see, because there is a part in this set video where he does laugh. You see this face right there, and, he, you know, he just looks like he's taunting this guy, this clown dude. And uh, I don't know if you guys have noticed, but look at the uh, what's written on the wall right there. Amusement Mile? The Amusement Mile has been featured in numerous uh, Batman books. Um, it's part of old Gotham. And, uh, yeah, it was part of uh, Gotham's industrial boom. But, of course, it, it saw better days. And then, you know, the big the big book that we saw it in, and, of course, who knows how much they're going to be pulling from it, but it, it was featured in The Killing Joke when, you know, the Joker purchased, you know, to have the amusement park, and he brought Commissioner Gordon there for a fun ride. Good guy. So that's awesome. The set images are awesome. Um, it's going to be interesting to see. I mean, who knows what, what's going to happen with this movie? You know, it's funny because everybody is pretty hyped for this. I'm, I've seen nothing but, every, you know, people just praising how Phoenix looks, how this is already, you know, shaping up to be. Everybody's praising it, which is kind of weird, though, because Martin Scorsese apparently isn't um, attached to it anymore. But I guess one of his fellow producers is because I guess Scorsese has too much going on. So that was kind of like, oh, I didn't know that. I found that out today from a fellow uh, movie person. And I was, yeah, found it interesting. Unless something happened where all of a sudden he is. Who knows? I mean, you, I mean, obviously, if you do a Google search, it'll show that it is. But uh, according to Deadline, he's not part of it anymore. So I don't know what's going on with that. But uh, this is definitely shaping up to be something interesting. I just wonder, like, are we going to see him in the makeup? And, and that's what's going to... Uh, undoubtedly be the backlash is when this movie comes out and we don't see Phoenix in the makeup and I uh, Warner Brothers first stay the fuck out stay away just let it happen okay this is not part of the DCEU it's not that universe this is something entirely different hopefully they don't fuck with it or you know you know start knocking on Todd Phillips's editing door and you're like hey we got to get him in the makeup a lot quicker and that that's the thing because they do, you know, test screenings with test audiences who just, I don't know who they're inviting to these test screenings because that'll be like the first complaint that they have. He wasn't in the makeup till the final act. So? Everybody wants instant gratification, right? <sighs> so, it's so annoying. So very annoying, you know. We can't just evolve the character. And that's what I'm hope. Hopefully that's what's going to be the case. But uh, the main thing is, is like, okay, when I, I remember posting, you know, what he was looking like and everything was at the Toronto Film Festival. And I was hoping, like, oh, here's hoping for a makeup image. I'm like, no, we got this image right here. It's just him normal. And that just kind of shows me, like, yeah, we're not going to see him in the makeup until we watch the goddamn movie. And all I want to hear now is the voice and the laugh. That's what's going to be great, and I'm sure uh, Phoenix is going to do, he's, he's going to do a great job and knock it out of the park, and there's going to be a lot of Leto Sucks hot takes that are already out there. You know, there's been so many iterations of the Joker. We can have two at the same time. I like Leto's Joker. He's more of that gangster Joker, you know? He's more, yeah. You know, I just like what they were going to do, even though, you know, of course the studio fucked with it, and hopefully with Suicide Squad too. and if they still continue on going with his Joker movie, I just hope they just do a little justice. There you go, guys. First thing down below, I'll have the uh, video and the uh, set images on my site. Go check it out. Hit that like, thumbs up button if you'd be so kind. Subscribe to my channel. Visit filmjunkie.com for all my stuff. And, of course, uh, visit the closet for shirts and stickers. And follow me on the sock meds, the Twitter, the Facebook, all that stuff. All right, guys? Talk to you.